The Biden administration is battling with Texas over access to part of the U.S.-Mexico border. Over the weekend, a migrant woman and two children died while they were trying to cross the Rio Grande into Texas. Border Patrol officials say that Texas officials prevented them from saving those three migrants just days after the Texas authorities took over policing at the border. NBC News correspondent Morgan Chesky joins me now. Morgan, what do we know, first off, about what actually happened this weekend? Yeah, Kate, an unfortunate tragedy on the Rio Grande with two very different storylines. According to federal officials, they received a call from Mexican authorities sharing that there was a woman and two children attempting to cross the Rio Grande uh, and appearing to struggle. They say that when they arrived at Shelby Park, that runs right alongside the river, there were state officials there essentially blocking them from being able to reach that group of three, uh, which did in fact drown in the river. Meanwhile, uh, the state of Texas has said that is wholly inaccurate, stating that by the time Border Patrol agents did arrive, the Mexican authorities on the other side of the river were already in the process of recovering the bodies of that migrant woman and those two children, uh, and that they, in fact, shared that with Border Patrol agents on the scene who appeared to understand the timeline. However, at the highest levels now, at the federal government and at the state of Texas, uh, they are now essentially at an impasse. And as a result, we're seeing this uh, is become the latest saga uh, in the border battle between the Biden administration and, and Texas Governor Greg Abbott. Kate? Can you give us a little more background, Morgan, about this sort of ongoing battle between state officials and federal officials? How did we get here? Right. Well, it began, of course, with a number of things. You had that thousand foot border buoy, which a judge ruled had to be pulled from the water that was installed by the state. You also had the ongoing legal saga of the state installed razor wire, uh, which a judge ruled that Border Patrol agents could not cut through unless it appeared a migrant was under extreme duress. Uh, and now you have this story, which unfortunately proved fatal for that woman and those two children. The Department of Homeland Security sending a cease and desist letter to Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton. I'd like to read you at least a portion of what that says, saying that Texas has demonstrated that even in the most exigent circumstances, it will not allow Border Patrol access to the border to conduct law enforcement and emergency response activities. Texas's actions are clearly unconstitutional and are actively disrupting the federal government's operations. I should add, Kay, that uh, the DHS... A letter gave Texas a deadline of this Wednesday to stop impeding or blocking access to Border Patrol. Otherwise, they would refer the matter to the Department of Justice and use, quote, all available options to restore access for Border Patrol agents and other federal authorities. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.